So uh, now that we've talked about Ancestry, let's talk about ADZ databases, which might be our most comprehensive database. Um, it's really great uh, because it lets you find two main types of information. So you can find business information and then also individual information. Um, so it's an online directory with profiles of 30 million businesses and executives and 240 million resident listings. So it's really useful for business owners uh, and executives to develop sales leads, uh, but it's also really useful for market research. Um, so let's take a look, let's open it up. Okay, so the first thing you see here uh, at the top are these quick search options. So as I said, there's two main types of records in A to C databases. Uh, those are individual records and then business records. Um, so you'll see here we have uh, find a business or executive. This is if I am looking for a specific business and I want information about that business. Um, otherwise, uh, you can search by person right here. You can also do a reverse phone lookup as well. Um, and then really cool thing about A to Z is they actually um, connect up with Indeed um, to provide you with uh, job listings as well. So you can actually do a job search in here also and even um, drill down a little bit and do an advanced search and uh, do a job search in here. Um, you can also do a background search. Um, so this is gonna be a search for individuals, uh, their previous addresses, um, and then also their known relatives. You can also run um, property searches to see who owns a specific property, right from in here. And then down here, uh, we have mailing list, sales leads, emails, and advanced searching. So that these categories are more if, uh, rather than if you're looking for a specific business that you already know and you want information about it or an individual, um, this is going to give you a range of individuals or businesses. So this is kind of going to be your research section here, uh, right? So here you can search uh, by the type of business. Um, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, uh, here you can search for uh, the type of business, um, the employee size, sales, um, you can search for new businesses by time frame, keyword, or geography. And then uh, here, uh, this, this area here is useful. Um, actually, I think for people who, for example, are doing um, medical sales, right? Because you can actually search for doctors in your area who uh, work with specific type of equipment in here and then do some market research that way and look for people to reach out to uh, in terms of uh, doing sales that way. Um, and then these, uh, this area is going to be searching specifically for residents. Uh, and uh, this one you can search uh, for residents by uh, for new movers as well. And then this universal section here, this is going to be used for searching for both uh, individuals and businesses. So this is going to search all of A to Z databases if you do that. Now let's take a look at what that's going to look like. So I can show you the different types of search operators that uh, pop up. So um, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, really interesting operators already built in here. So let's say I'm looking for uh, women owned businesses in Aurora. Okay, so what I could do is first filter by city. Um, it's gonna ask you for the state here, and then we'll do Aurora. I'm going to click here to, to select the city. And then we're going to go down to the operators here. Let's see, we'll go select business, uh, women owned. And then oh, we'll just stick with that for now. And then you do have to select here uh, because if you do operators like that, um, where there's multiple options, it's going to ask you if you want to do, do I want to do only women owned or do I want to actually exclude women only? Um, and then you do your search, you run your search right here. Fantastic. Uh, and then, then, and then um, the way you'll see this, the screen laid out here, uh, you'll see the business name, um, the, the owner, uh, the address, um, revenue information. And then this is actually going to show you the corporate family tree as well. So which can be very interesting. You can see uh, who actually owns this. So CM 
CMC materials. Um, you see if there's subsidiary, so this is the subsidiary, and then you can see B, B stands for branch here. So if you see, if you wanna see uh, different branches within that corporation as well, um, which is obviously gonna be a little bit more useful for your, for your very big businesses. But um, if you are applying for a job, um, you can come right in here and do research on that company um, to find out um, a little bit more about it so that you can go unprepared. All right, um, and then uh, let's just do an, a quick uh, search for specific business as well. So um, I can show you what that looks like. Uh, we could do Taco Bell, let's just do Taco Bell. <laughs> Why not, you know? Uh, and then let's see, let's look for Taco Bells in Aurora. So do the search. As you see too, we had similar operators there as Ancestry where it says exact or fuzzy. Um, and then again, we're going to see um, that family tree here. Oh, Colorado. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, so as you can see, A to Z databases is really useful um, for doing all different types of, of research, uh, whether you're about uh, mostly business research, but you know, um, for also individual research too. I've seen people use this if they're looking for long lost relatives and things like that as well, um, especially since you have that reverse phone, reverse phone lookup option.